Happy birthday, Sue. I hope you have a fantastic day with your friends and family. And it's a good opportunity really to say thank you from everybody for all the great stuff you've done locally. I mean, you have been fantastic. I've had the privilege of being one of your colleagues and know how well you've motivated not only students, but staff as well. And I can also see the way in which generations of singers and people interested in music have really benefited from your motivation and enthusiasm as um, and sometimes that steely eye which just gets the best out of people so thank you for everything have a great day since you auditioned me for Cine Nominate at what was your first weekend too. Since then, I've been constantly inspired and impressed by your energy, enthusiasm and encouragement. It's been a pleasure and a privilege. So here's to the next 20 years. Have a brilliant big birthday. Cheers. Happy birthday, Sue, the big 7-0, congratulations. Um, I first met you at the turn of the century, which really makes me laugh. Um, you were my Voices Foundation tutor. Uh, you taught me pretty much all I know about Kadai and musicianship training with young people. Um, you're an absolute inspiration and it's been such a very great pleasure to um, have known you for all these years. Um, and also now to get to know your protégés like Daniel Fields and Elizabeth Briley. Um, you are just an absolute gem. I adore you. And having spent the weekend with you on the MOT for Choral Directors recently at Snape Maltings was just such um, a privilege. And you are just the most fun person, very down to earth. Uh, very genuine and I hope you have the most wonderful birthday. Sending lots of love from me and from ABCD and from all of your choral friends uh, all over the world. Take care, have a wonderful day. Hi Sue, happy birthday. Welcome to a great decade. I'm sure you'll enjoy your work just as much as you have been doing. It's been such a pleasure to work with you as a colleague and to be inspired by your knowledge and your enthusiasm. And I look forward to seeing you before too long, once all this stuff is over. Enjoy your day. Very happy birthday, Sue. And thank you for all your encouragement and all the opportunities you opened up to me when I came to live over here. Uh, Sue, I speak on behalf of the Methodist Ancient History Society. And as you are now one of our youngest members, I'm... Uh, speaking to you to wish you a very happy birthday and to thank you for the very lovely contributions you made to my ministry when I was at St Mark's. Many thanks and a very happy birthday. Happy birthday. God bless. Hi Sue, happy birthday from us in Heaton. It's wonderful to wish you a fantastic birthday on the 23rd of July, which as we know is a very special day Birthday twin For very talented musicians Lots of lovely memories all over the world with you Or Europe anyway, and all over the UK Yes, and on your special day I, I will be celebrating too It's a different Hello, celebration well. to perhaps we'd envisaged mm. it But if we're surrounded by those that we love And we have anyway. the joy of music then it's going to be a great birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sue. 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Sue, from Ben Parry, National Youth Choirs of Great Britain. Thank you for everything that you do for choral music in this country. Hoping you have the most fantastic time. Lots of love and best wishes. Hi Sue, I just want to wish you a big happy birthday from me and um, I want to thank you and everyone at Scumfort Cooperative Junior Choir for giving me this opportunity to come and sing. It's built my confidence right up and I just want to thank you. Um, I really love the Messiah in, at the Royal Albert Hall and also the most thing that I would like to thank is the Choir of the Year. That That's the one that's really, really brought me into tears um, because I didn't expect to be in a choir that would have won. But I just want to say thank you so much for just giving me this opportunity. And it's made me realise that I can build the relationship between the people in the choir and you just to give me the, the support that I needed. But thank you so much. I couldn't expect anything else. Thank you. Happy birthday, Sue. I've always had the greatest admiration for the work you do with your choirs in Scunthorpe. Thank you so much for the confidence you gave me in the training sessions I've had with you to use my voice to lead singing, particularly with early years. Um, and it has carried on in other music making that I've done. So now is the chance for you to sit back and enjoy life and music from the other side of the rostrum. Happy birthday. Hello Sue, Brian Kay here. I wanted to join in the celebration for your 70th birthday. 70, eh? Hmm. Mine's rather a long time ago, but never mind. I'm sure you're as young in heart as I am. Um, wonderful work that you've done over all those years. Um, and I'm particularly thrilled to speak to you as a fellow Vice President of the Association of British Choral Directors. Um, because um, everyone at the ABCD and the choral world generally um, reveres everything that you've done for so many years and such wonderful work with with choirs everywhere and particularly I think with young singers because they are the great um, hope for our future and without them there will be no future for choral music. Uh, you still inspire so many generations of young singers and it's wonderful that you do it and you do it so well and I remember Mary King saying when you won the Choir of the Year competition that your choir always was a shining example of the joy of making music. May it be ever thus, and may you go on doing it so wonderfully forever. 70 is, hmm, the new 50. Have a great time, lots of love. Happy birthday, Sue. I hope you have a wonderful day. Congratulations, can't believe you're 70. Um, and thank you for everything that you do for music. Um, not difficult times we're in at the moment. But um, yes, this comes with lots of love and many, many thanks. Bye. Hello, for those of you who've been privileged enough to bask in Sue Hollingworth's incredible energy and charisma and talent over the last few decades, as I have done, 
will I'm sure agree that she is unique in this country. Um, I have been so privileged to watch her, to learn from her, as I know have many of my colleagues. She's remarkable. Um, her ability with young singers, her ability to galvanize a community, an entire community, multi-generationally, has been really second to none. And I really feel privileged to have known her and, and learnt from her. I cannot believe that Sue is 70. She has a, a sort of eternal youthfulness about her, which I think comes from, partly from the uh, energy that she she garners from the people she works with of all generations, but particularly the young singers. And partly that, as we all know, singing keeps us perpetually young. Anyway, Sue, happy birthday. It is an amazing milestone. And I know, knowing you and your energy and your dynamism, that you will be going on for at least another three decades. Please never retire. Thank you. Hello Sue, this is Paul Spicer congratulating you on your milestone birthday, never mention a lady's age, and adding my own words of appreciation for all you do for choral music, especially in your part of the world, but also for the whole edifice of choral music in this country. In this surreal of deeply frustrating and sad time for all of us involved in choirs, it's just good to know that when we're allowed to get our singers together, you will be there inspiring and gathering everybody in with your wonderful enthusiasm and huge skill. Thank you for everything, and I hope that you have a really good celebration. You richly deserve it. Jonathan Wilcox here. I can't believe you're really going to be that big round figure. It must be 50 actually. I've got such happy memories of working with you in your choirs and hope you have a lovely day and congratulations on reaching that landmark. Bye! Sue, this is Sarah Cortell and I am so thrilled to get the chance to wish you happy birthday. You know, as choral musicians, we, we always remember those conductors, those teachers who, who brought the music to life for us, who instilled in us that tremendous love of choral music making. And I know you have been that person for so many. And for me, you've been a person who has brought my music to life. And for that, I am tremendously thankful. So Sue, happy birthday, wishing you a beautiful day and a wonderful year. Hello Sue, this is Judith Weir. Excuse this very low-tech greeting. Just want to add my greetings from many people in the choral world. I so well remember the first things I heard you do, both with the choir from Scunthorpe and Cine Nomine, which was in the BBC Choir of the Year competitions over 10 years ago. And you were also one of the very early recorders of my music on disc with Cena Nomine. So thank you, congratulations for all you do, and hope that um, all goes well for you in the future. Thanks again, bye bye. Hello Sue, happy birthday to you, and welcome to the highly exclusive Septuagenarian Music Club. There are many things that I that spring to mind when I think back to the time we worked together. Amongst the highlights were definitely the SFP summer schools and the North Lincolnshire Cantata that you commissioned from. Incidentally, Frost and Fire and Don't Let Them Spoil the Rain still sell very well. 
But the outstanding memory I have is the, is the performance you gave of Lost in Space, which really made the song. There have been many performances since then, but that remains the definitive one. Thank you for that. And thank you for all the times we worked together. It was great. And have an excellent birthday. Bye for now. Hello, Sue. I'm delighted to wish you a very happy virtual birthday. I can't remember when we first met, but it was at an ABCD convention and we were both a bit younger. I do remember your overwhelming enthusiasm and love for choral singing, and I was absolutely delighted when you offered to record some of my music, both with the Cine Nomine International Touring Choir and also with the Scunthorpe Cooperative Junior Choir. And uh, your hospitality and friendliness at those recording days was, was lovely. We were at a small church in the Lincolnshire countryside and also at the Early Music Centre in York. And uh, those were really days to remember. And the recordings were excellent and I still often listen to them. Since then we kept in touch and often met up at ABCD conventions and I was delighted when Scunthorpe Junior Choir, now conducted by Daniel Fields, gave the first UK performances last November of two of my new songs. Dan is an excellent successor to you, but I was pleased to see that you were still keeping a close eye on proceedings and it was lovely to once again stay with you and Jim. Well, that's just a small personal account, but I know that you are involved in many wide-ranging musical activities, as well as support activities for your hometown of Scunthorpe, and long may they all continue. So once again, have a very happy birthday, and cheers! Happy birthday, Sue. Well, Sue, James and I really couldn't let your special day go past without recording a little something for you. I must say, you don't half look good for 80 treading on thin ice there. We've just got a little bit of setting up to do and then we need to go and put our birthday suits on. So we'll be back in two. So Sue, James and I have been working on our latest high quality musical performance. Uh, obviously, in the style of Hinge and Bracket. We couldn't quite decide on the dress etiquette, either smart or casual, so we've gone for smart cash. Well, Sue, so James and I keep practising, um, but as you know, we are slightly challenged by life when it comes to using two hands at the same time. Um, so, I'm going to play the right hand, and James is going to play the left hand. Hello, this is John Rutter speaking to you from my home, no surprise there, and really this is to send birthday greetings to a very special person, Sue Hollingworth. Well now, they always say if you want to change the world, start where you are, and Sue has done just that in North Lincolnshire. Her name began to resound many years ago and she has remained firmly rooted in her choral community in that part of North Lincolnshire. But lo and behold, the ripples began to spread and she is now recognized nationally and internationally as a real force for good, a mover and shaker in the world of choirs. I always think people are divided into givers and takers and Sue is emphatically one of the givers. 
her contributions have been recognized by national honors, and that's wonderful. But I think perhaps the most wonderful thing she has achieved is to enable so many people, young and older, amateur and professional, to fulfill themselves in choral singing. Now, of course, we are living through difficult times just now, but they're not going to last forever. And I'm confident that when we all get back together with real choirs singing in the same place, Sue will be there among them, leading the way. So, birthday greetings from the heart, Sue. And to all your friends, my greetings also. We will raise a glass to you. Hi Sue, I wanted to wish you a really happy birthday. I was thinking when I was asked to record this, um, when was the first time we met? I think it was probably late 90s, it was probably 1998 or 99. It was either in Symphony Hall in Birmingham or in the, first, uh, the Queen Elizabeth Hall in London. And you sang, I think it was for a Music for Youth, uh, competition, you sang my piece Friends, and I was on the jury, and I thought, gosh, that's fantastic singing. It was with the Scunthorpe Choir, and you sang that piece absolutely brilliantly, just like I imagined it, I remember, with tons of energy, and it was great. And I think soon after that we met up, and I came up to Scunthorpe, and I um, came and heard the choir, and then we did a bunch of stuff together. Um, we did that recording, and then we did, um, well, UK Festival 500 in Newfoundland. And then, after that, we did the recording of the Marconi Making Waves project, which was such a lot of fun. And I think it was that time that I came and stayed with you and Jim, and we had a great evening, we had a lot of laughs, we drank a bit of wine, we had some lovely food, and it was just great. You've, you've been such a fantastic colleague and friend, and uh, you've done so much for so many people. Just think of all those young people who have sung in your choir, who you've in influenced. And also all the people in your adult choirs, you've done brilliantly and you're still doing it. Uh, so many happy returns and have a wonderful time. And I hope that I'll see you soon. Until um, then, lots of love. Bye. Hello. Um, okay, so first of all, happy birthday to Sue. Um, I think there must be a mistake with the dates because um, I do simply not believe the potential uh, age that has been suggested she may be reaching. Uh, Sue, you are the youngest looking person ever to have reached this particular landmark. I think you are a scientific phenomenon from that point of view. I think maybe being in music has um, given you such youth. And probably you would say that all your energy and your enthusiasm and your amazing ability to inspire people um, is fueled by the music and by your love of young people. But whatever the reasons are, Sue, it is a miracle. Um, and if someone had said, can you do a message for Sue's 50th birthday, uh, in July, I'd have said fine, yeah, not even given it another thought, but that's probably where you are uh, on the uh, timetable of life. Anyway, I just want to say this about you, Sue, and your choral work that you've done for thousands and thousands of young people, not just young people, but people who want to sing better, who want to sing in groups, um, that, you know, a lot of people who conduct orchestras or lead choirs or run things or have sort of status... Um, you know, it's partly what motivates them is the thrill of being them and a slightly, there's a bit of a trip uh, getting up there being yourself and there's a little bit of an ego thing goes on with some people in those roles, probably me, for example. Um, but Sue, you don't have any of that. You do what you do and the reason you're so incredibly good at it, for the people you are conducting or 
doing a workshop with, or training, or helping, or talking to, or inspiring. It's all about them. It's all about the young people. It's about the participants. What do they need? What do they want? What do they want to sound like? And, you know, after you've worked with them and encouraged and explained things uh, and led by example, it's them who get better. It's them who turn from an ordinary bunch of singers to a fantastic, um, world-beating you know, bunch of singers. It's because of what you've done for them. It's so much about them. And I think that is, um, it's not totally unique, but it's nearly unique, uh, Sue. So I think you'll have met lots of the people around our world. Um, and, you know, you can't escape the fact that leading a choir or an orchestra or doing whatever we do in front of large numbers of people and audiences um, is an exciting and also daunting thing and that sometimes we're motivated by that thrill. I think you are motivated by love for people. And I think that is what makes you so very special and an amazing person. What an example to us all. Um, it is the huge luck, fortune, and gloriousness of Scunthorpe that you happen to be there um, for those people there. But wherever you had found yourself landing up, they would have had that magic dust sprayed on them by you and all you have done. And you didn't just do this for the children you were conducting in your choirs, you did it for the other adults and other young people who wanted to lead other choirs. So it's a virtuous, endlessly growing uh, pyramid, as it were, of virtue and skill and enthusiasm and love and care for the people you're working with. You are an embodiment of what music at its very best can do for individual people and for whole communities. So um, I've gone on a bit here, haven't I? I'm probably the longest message you're receiving, but I've known you a very long time. Uh, and so I wanted to say this very sincere a tribute to you. Happy birthday, Zoo. Uh, and send my love to all your lovely family and your singers and the Scunthorpe world and everybody else you've ever touched on your way. Thank you. On the hustle. Sue, we can't have a celebration, particularly one as special as this, without singing your iconic SCJC encore, Feel Good. Happy birthday. I can't
Why don't you try love just for yourself?